I'm going to load here my initial patch and I'm going to hide my tree view here and I'm going to minimize my two modules so I can show you the wave sequencer we have done some changes on Vuskir Tauron but first I'm going to add an envelope just a regular envelope and a sound generator <laughs> And now I'm going to add my wave sequencer. This wave sequencer is a MIDI module, so it's going to generate MIDI notes for the other modules. So it's like an arpeggiator, but it has some advanced features. And some modules are specially coded for the wave sequencer. Uh, for instance, the wave sequencer wor works best with the sample player, because you can select the layer and volume of each step. But in this case, I'm going to use just an, as a arpeggiator with some more advanced options. And on Vuzk 8000, I can edit four lanes at the same time. So I'm going to edit modulation one, modulation two, tune, and fine tune. The modulation 1 and 2, they are a new option for the wave sequence from both WUSC 4000 and 8000. We haven't released the official files yet, this is a beta, beta version. But uh, what I can do here is I can route the modulation 1. Let, let me add a filter here. And I'm going to route to my filter input. So you can see better here that each step is going to generate notes according to the values I have selected here. And they are going to use the envelopes of the modules because this is just generating MIDI notes. So it's very easy to create more complex arpeggiated sounds. I can also edit other options here, like octave instead of using the twenty. And just volume and pen and sample start are not going to work with my current sound generator. And if I save a preset now, it's going to save where and what I was editing and all the interne internal values. So all these options here, I, s I save it separately. You can just edit for a time. And you can also have uh, four sequences playing at the same time. The only thing you have to worry about is that notes can't overlap, otherwise they're going to cancel each other. So if I play a, ch a chart here, and I, I add another sequence. I can add another sequence and just use something else. Let's say motion three. Where is it? Edit modulation three. Where is this? Here. <laughs> Thank you. 
we have to remove all steps and just keep one sequence for now. And this is pretty much it, what you can do with the wave sequencer. But if you want to create more complex sequence, let's say I want to have, let me start with my initial patch here again. And I'm going to add another envelope. This time just a simple envelope. And again, my sound generator. And again, a wave sequencer. But this time I'm going to make the wave sequencer slower. And I'm going to use a modulation sequencer, polyphonic, so each note has its own sequence. And I'm going to route to my filter input. Let me add a filter here. So what happens now? Is that each note on a wave sequencer is going to generate a modulation sequencer here, which is polyphonic sent to the filter. <laughs> Let me put bits per minute. And let me adjust my smooth option on filter. So now each sequence is generating the sequencer here. Let me put it a bit more slow so you can actually hear it. And we have we have just three steps on the sequencer. One with the original tuning and another with an octave up tuning. And I can also make something here, let's say I added another option for both Vosky 4000 and 8000 of the looped stat position. So when it goes to the end of the sequence, I can select it to stay on the last one. So, so if I put it very slowly, it's going to stay there. And if I add a more release here, this way you can uh, can do very complex sequencing sounds with just the wave sequencer, the polyphonic sequencer modulation. So you can always find this on a MIDI wave sequencer. This is going to generate MIDI notes, so it's like an arpeggiator. And the modulation sequencer poly, which is just like a modulation like an LFO or anything like that, but it's polyphonic, so each voice has its own sequence. And I have selected the keys, key note on sync, so for each new note, it's going to generate a new sequence for that voice. Yeah. So this is pretty much it for, for this tutorial. I hope this helps. Thanks for, for watching. <laughs>